Hello again, uh, here's how to make a uh, syringe powered butterfly toy. We're going to use a pair of syringes and uh, when, we, when I push the plunger of this syringe you can see that I've got control. I can make the other syringe move up and down. It's a, a simple pneumatic mechanism. Uh, you can find pictures of images of butterflies on, on the internet. Uh, or you could get the pupils to draw their own. Um, this is the sheet that I've prepared. It's printed on card, but we need it to be a little bit uh, more robust than that. So uh, I glue that sheet onto uh, another piece of card. We then cut out the butterfly shape. Uh, we need to do one more thing to it. We'll just clear the decks a bit here. Uh, we need to score it on each side of the abdomen so that the wings will, will, will fold to make the wings more flexible. So I'm just going to use um, the, the tip, the edge of a small screwdriver and just score along the base of each wing, pressing down quite hard. And then that will allow me to fold up the wings neatly, leaving the abdomen in the middle. So now that we've got the wings are able to flap really well. Okay, let's now make a start of the uh, mechanism itself. Um, I'm going to be using um, 3mm Corex and the reason I'm using that is because uh, if you score it, it does um, hinge really well. Uh, we need 3cm um, wide strips of Corex with the flutes running um, lengthwise and we need uh, two strips uh, 16 centimetres long. Because we're making two identical strips I'm just going to temporarily sellotape them together and I'm just going to measure 16 centimetres. Now um, we are going to be using a craft knife to make this toy. Um, whenever you give, if you're going to allow pupils to use craft knives they must have um, a safety mat, a cutting mat and access to uh, a metal safety ruler. Um, I've done this uh, successfully with year 5 and year 6 classes. So we'll just mark off 16 centimetres and then cut that, cut that off. When you're cutting thick materials of a craft knife don't try and cut through in one go. Just gently cut through. It's almost a wiping motion until it cuts through. Now um, the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is to cut um, a hinge at the end of the strips and the hinge needs to be one centimetre from the end. So I'm just going to mark one centimetre. There we are. And again I'm going to score along there. That's probably enough. Take care not to cut all the way through so that it does need perhaps one more. There we are. So that the ends hinge over really nicely. There we are, there's the, hin there's the ends hinging over. We've now got to um, do another score line, three centimetres from the same end, but on the other side. So turn the strips over and once again measure from the same end three centimetres and score at three centimetres. And hinge that over. We can now separate the two strips and check that you've got a nice uh, working double hinge joint. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to put, get the um, syringe ready, the small syringe, ready to be glued to those um, hinge strips. Um, and we're going to use two pieces of um, square section wood. This is 8mm by 8mm wood. Um, I think these are about 5 centimetres long, not, not too important the exact length. And I'm going to glue each piece underneath the flange of the barrel of the syringe on each side like that. Uh, now I've got a, a, um, a high melt hot glue gun, hot uh, glue gun here, so I think I should be able to do 
both at the same time. If I was using a lower milk glue gun I'd do one and then I'd do the other. So there's one in position and there's the other one. <coughs> this is a good time to actually put the um, tubing on. It's a bit tricky to put it on later on. So press it on really firmly. And now I'm going to glue that assembly onto the strips. Um, it's quite easy to get this the wrong way around. The two strips need to be that way round so that they kind of come together at the top. So not that way, that way round. And the other thing to get, you have to get right is whereabouts they go on the strip. Um, push the plunger of the small syringe all the way down and then that top level of the plunger should line up with the lower hinge so it needs to be in that position there so when the plunger is pushed all the way down it should be level with the lower hinge there so that would be too high up that's too far down that's just about right so I'm going to glue it in that position I'm also going to make sure that it's in central to the strip as well so I'll just put some glue on there glue it in position we've got a few seconds wriggle room just to adjust it there we go and now I'm going to do the the other strip make sure you get it the the right way round in an identical position and glue that in position make sure they're both exactly the same there we are next thing we're going to do we're going to cut out some right angled triangles to put on here to help us to glue this down onto a base um, for this we need the dimensions aren't too important but this is another piece of firm three millimeter wide correct strip and it's about seven centimeters long and I'm going to cut this in half diagonally to make two right angle triangles. There we are. And I'm going to glue these triangles to the bottom of each strip like this. one and the other one goes on the other side make sure that the the bases line up so there we are um, that's the mechanism uh, nearly finished uh, there's one more thing we have to do uh, because the plunger is going to be glued to the underside of the abdomen. It's a little bit too wide so I'm just going to uh, snip two sides off. Uh, you do need card cutting scissors to do this. The plastic is quite thick. So I'm just going to snip each side off like that so that now that is narrow enough to be glued onto the underside of the abdomen in between the, the two folds. Um, so now we're ready to glue the uh, mechanism onto the butterfly and the easiest way to do this is to turn the butterfly upside down so you've got the underside facing you then turn the, the mechanism upside down uh, push the plunger in so that it lines up with the top part of the strips folded over like that don't know if you can see that and now we can position it down onto the butterfly I'm going to try and pick this up and show you because this is quite important to get right. Um, there we are and you position it so that the, the two strips are parallel to each other and you can see the plunger is ready to be glued onto the underside of the abdomen. So I'll get the glue gun again, put some glue on here on the plunger and on the other strip and then glue the whole thing down taking care to get the plunger in between the folds and press down and we're just going to hold that in place just for a few seconds there we are now if I turn that round 
you can see what the, the, the finished um, assembly looks like. Um, I'm now ready to glue the whole thing down onto a, a base. You could use a piece of cardboard. I'm going to use another piece of Corex here. And I'm going to glue that down onto the base. So we put some glue all along these surfaces. There we go. And we glue that down to the centre. Um, I'm just going to hold it for uh, a few seconds to allow the glue to dry. And I'll hold it up so you can see how it looks. So the two strips are parallel to each other and at the top they're folded over level there. So, um, we're now going to see if it works. I'm going to get a, a larger syringe. This is um, a 20mm syringe. You don't need 20mm. Um, um, fill it up about halfway with air. Push it onto the other end of the tubing. And now, hopefully, we should see if the butterfly is actually going to work. Yep, the wings close up completely and it goes down to horizontal. Don't take it any further than that. There we are, and we've got really nice control over the butterfly. Um, one more thing we could do, uh, we could add some antennae. Uh, I use a, a piece of uh, electrical wire, you could use pipe cleaners perhaps. Fold it in half, curve the two sides out. I think butterflies have got clubbed antennae so you could fold the, the ends over here. And I'm going to glue that to the underside of the head. Go. Take great care not to get glue on your finger. I hope that's had um, long enough to dry. And there we are, that's the, the finished syringe operated butterfly. Um, it is available as a kit from my technology shop, uh, and uh, I will also, um, uh, I can also supply it as, as a class pack. So um, I hope you enjoy making syringe operated butterflies.